Welcome to Hector's 5 Minute Frenzy, episode 11. So this week's best thing is taking time to enjoy your childhood, even if you're 30. Um, a lot of times, the older we get, we stop doing things that we used to love doing. One of my favorite things that I used to do was run across hay bales for no good reason. And so, I'm going to do that. And just want to encourage you, if there's something you really love doing that you haven't done in like 10 years because you're old, don't be stupid. Do it. Go do those things. How much of this do you give American Pickers credit for? Oh, I was before American Pickers, honey. I, so, so you I've been doing this for 25 years. Everything got into this store because I put it here. How I got the store was um, I had no money. I had about $20 in my pocket. And what I did was I went to an auction and I bought a box of rat think rings from the 50s. I paid $8 for the box and I sold them on eBay for $8,000. How much? Eight thousand dollars. When I did that, I bought everything in the store. Where do you get most of this stuff from? Um, I get it everywhere from barns, and I got a snake bite three weeks ago because I went into a barn and I was hunting a Harley Davidson backpack from the sixties. I go to auctions. I go into people's garages. I go to yard sales. I buy from other antique dealers. But my favorite is to go into barns or broken down or vacated or abandoned buildings. So if people want you to go through their barn, they can call you? Call me! Call me! Call me! Call me! I will go through your, bar through your barn for free and I will offer to buy your stuff. You never know what you're going to find. This week's media bite is tfury.com. Every day they load a new t-shirt design and that t-shirt design is only available for that day. They have really creative stuff. A lot of pop culture things. you're a very creative person you could submit your own design and they'll make your shirt and then one thing that I really love the t-shirts are only ten dollars time for Donde Esta I show you a picture you tell me where it is you win a prize this week's prize a full cup at Sweet Frog if you don't live anywhere near me or a Sweet Frog I'll give you four dollars ta-da Isaiah chapter 43 verse 25 it is I who sweep away your transgressions for my own sake and remember your sins no more. A lot of times when we talk about salvation or God or Jesus Christ, we think about what we get out of the deal. We think about grace that we receive, peace that we get, blessings we have, getting out of hell, stuff like that. We think about what we get out of the situation and it becomes very one-sided. Scripture shows us that God doesn't save us just for what we get. God says in this verse that He saves us, that He wants to offer us forgiveness, that He wants to wipe away our sins for His own sake. We are dearly loved by the Creator of this world. We are dearly loved and He wants a relationship with us. But sin literally separates us from Him. Sin keeps us from having the relationship with God that we're designed for. So God actually wants to forgive us. God wants to give us second chances. God reaches out to us and calls out to us and He gives us chance time and time after again. Not because of how awesome we are. He does it because He loves us and He wants to be with us. Thanks for watching episode 11. I appreciate it. Make sure you share it and thanks for being patient. My life is crazy busy right now so I'm not churning these things out as quickly as I'd like. But I really appreciate the fact that you're actually watching this.